Hi everybody, um, welcome to our final video in our Alabama series. Um, we were so excited to have been able to travel through Alabama. We spent 11 nights and traveled over a thousand miles and now we get to add our Alabama sticker to our United States map. Yay! Three states! Three states so far! And stay tuned, we're actually, our next set of videos is going to be on South Carolina. Welcome, Welcome to, to Arvine with, with the Moroccans. We just wanted to talk a little bit about the highlights of our trip to Alabama. I think we, obviously, we both really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And we drove, I don't know, seven, eight hundred 800 miles through Alabama. It was really nice. Some of the Very roads nice. were a little rough. but Got lost a few times. Yeah, but it was nice. Mm -hmm. um, I really enjoyed the Gulf Coast where we first started out at. It just reminded me of parts of florida where it's not really grown up yet mm -hmm. so that that was nice mm -hmm. driving through there um the caverns both rickwood and cathedral caverns were really nice i mean cathedral yeah. was probably much nicer obviously had more funding nice yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um the other thing as far as places we went through huntsville really appealed to me probably a place i'd like to explore more there's a lot there a lot of culture mm -hmm. a lot of science um, the whole area was just pretty. The mm -hmm. campground we stayed at was really nice mountain mm -hmm. view over the whole city. Mm -hmm. So that was nice. And then the, that whole area is just rolling hills, really pretty. Um, Chia State Park, where we will talk about later today in mm -hmm. this video, was really nice, except for the campground wasn't so hot, but the area was beautiful and we... Yeah went up to the highest spot in Alabama, I think, I don't know, 2,400 feet. So it was a mountain. Really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's all I know. So we really want to say thank you to um, everyone for subscribing to our channel. And we really hope you've enjoyed the Alabama series. Hey, Rhonda, you're driving in the mountains. How's it feel? Well, the car's going by itself. No gas, no brakes at 45 miles per hour. So I guess it's going to be good. So we're just leaving Monte Santo, Sano, and we just empty our tanks. They were full. They both showed full on the gauges. So that was after four days. What are you doing, Rhonda? I'm driving over the Tennessee River, and I'm wondering how that could be if we're in Alabama. Chia State Park is supposedly one of the highest points in Alabama. So fun getting up to the top probably. What's it like driving right now? We're having to push it. You're having to push it. We're going up this high mountain to the highest point in Alabama. We're having to use some gas. He just absolutely loves it. He told me earlier how much he loves this kind of driving. Up the mountain, around the curves, down the hill, etc, etc. Lake Chia, picnic area, looks like you can go out there and swim, a little beach area, campground is right up on this hill, we're in the lower campground, because the upper one's closed for renovation, this one is still kind of being finished renovated. Here's the lake. We're at the beach. It's really cold today, so no swimming. But I like these buildings and these walls. It's nice stone. I've been hiking that trail around the lake. Going back up the stairs to the campground. Campsite number 60. Pull through. View of the lake relatively level there's our campsite 52 very fresh asphalt yeah this was i mean that's concrete still on there they just came around and was planting grass seed last night so this is all totally redone Mountains. 
not sure you'll be able to see them good. But. All right, we're at the Falls Trailhead. Trail. Oh, that's worthless. We're going to take this one okay. because I hear water that way. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the third campfire spot we've seen. Well, Rhonda didn't like the low trail, so she just climbed up this. Unfortunately, I was too worried watching her to film. Okay. We're in the wilderness. Well, maybe this is the first waterfall. Look at that, that's pretty. That's pretty. Is there a trail here? <laughs> I guess that's what you have to do. I'm filming this. Another set of water. How do you like those steps, Rhonda? These steps are okay. <laughs> At least they're like the same. It beats rocks. Like rocks. Stairs are awful steep. Very close. And there's the waterfall. Yay! Here we are in at Chia State Park in Alabama, and Joe's getting ready to fly the drone. Chia State Park is in the Talladega National Forest, which is almost 400,000 acres. There's lodge, cabins, and chalets for rent, in addition to RV and tent camping. We camped in the lower campground, which had just reopened a few days before we arrived. We were sort of disappointed as we were so far out in the woods and all of the sites were crammed together. We had a double pull-through site, which was weird, and three other campers on three sides of us, all within 50 feet. Site 60 seemed to be the best site there, if you can get it. The area is full of great hiking, fishing, and swimming. We really enjoyed our hike and all the waterfalls we visited. The park is home to the Chia Trailhead of the Pinhote Trail, which connects to the Appalachian Trail in Georgia. Chia is one of the many Civilian Conservation Corps parks from the 1930s and is Alabama's oldest operating state park. This area is at the southern end of the Appalachian Mountains, and so it's hilly and rocky and very different from our home state of Florida, so we enjoyed it. It was also very cool, cold-ish while we were there. Perfect. We drove up to the high point area of the park. Unfortunately, the towers up there didn't seem to have Verizon or AT&T LTE service. There's a nice short hike up there where we saw the upper campground. It wasn't yet reopened, but looked very similar to the lower campground we were in. Either way, you have to check in in the upper area where the lodge is. Well, the sites here are really right on top of each other. All right, we're leaving. Where are we? <laughs> Chia, Lake Chia. Chia State Park. Mm -hmm. Up in the mountains here, highest point in Alabama. But really tight packed camping sites. 
we uh, made a wrong turn and the parking lot turns out it wasn't big enough to make a, a u-turn in with the RV or I didn't pull over far enough <laughs> so we ended up having to unhook the car and re-hooking it up at this park um, this was quite an adventure what do you think Joe <laughs> This was the first time this has happened to us. Well, we finally made it back to the uh, paved road. There's the turnip seed campground. Didn't you pass that one? On yes, the and we're on the right road this time, so. There's a hawk. That was a little adventure, wasn't it, it was Rhonda? An adventure. Oh my gosh. I think we handled it quite well. Yes. I, there was a little Mr. Grumpy, but. Yeah, well, it you may think they're grapes, but this is a huge kiwi farm. And it keeps going. And it goes really far back. And I didn't start filming. We only got about a third of it. Alabama Kiwis. We are about 15 minutes from Blue Springs State Park in Alabama and we are really out in the middle of nowhere. We have nowhere. We have had maybe one car pass us in the last 20 minutes. It's really beautiful though. Whatever it is. Yeah. 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 That's what we're flying that night. I've seen those. Seen those. Well, be forewarned, baby. They, yeah. may, they may come by tonight. It's uh, Thursday morning, Blue Springs State Park in Alabama, and uh, we're headed home today, back to Florida. This is a really small, kind of out of the way park, not much to do here, but it's really pretty. It was basically very quiet last night, except there's a lot of military helicopters that fly around <laughs> along here. Uh, we heard one at about 10 o'clock, but other than that, it was fine. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Hello, future us.